<laughs> it's the long lost Upper Key Dude. Moose Call. Good morning. The, Blessings. The uh, the deal from the the, the, the uh, deal was so the funny. token of the appreciation. Rant. What? The rant. About what? About unhooking or not. Oh, you like that? You guys watched it. You enjoyed it. That's good. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if, if in any, you know, maybe like a literal, you know, translation, you know, changing over from English to English, if we've got a northbounder and unhook us by any chance, you know, sometimes when you're like, you know, translating from one langu language to the other, they could be misinterpreted. Maybe that was one of those English to English, you know, misinterpretations. That's kind of how I'm looking at it, you know, trying to give them the benefit of a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> He's my yeah. attorney, by the way. That? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like lawyer speak. He hadn't yeah. showed up for court yet, the dates we've had, but. <laughs> 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 the place is called Isla Morada, a small village of islands in the middle of the Florida Keys. Known for its rich history, local island cuisine, family fun, and exciting nightlife. Isla Morada is simply a unique tropical paradise. But Isla Morada's greatest claim to fame is its natural resource. Situated between the saltwater wilderness of Everglades National Park in one direction and in the other, the continental United States only coral barrier reef and endless shallow flats with breathtakingly beautiful waters. For many, it's what roams these waters that drives a passion like no other. I'm not sure that the fish aren't a little bigger than they used to be. Um, you know, Florida and all the tarpon areas had a, a history of um, catching tarpon and bringing, bringing them to the dock. And we calculated at some point there were three to 5,000 tarpon a year killed in Florida. So people would bring them in and they would achieve a charter uh, advertisement. So we said, we gotta quit that. We gotta quit that. We changed the laws in the state of Florida. And this has been almost 30 years ago. So there's probably a quarter of a million tarpon swimming around out there. Then they've gotten bigger. I think, I think tarpon have gotten a little bigger, the average tarpon down here. This might be the only place on Earth where it's possible to catch a sailfish in the morning, then venture into the backcountry in pursuit of bonefish, snook, and redfish. But it's the droves of tarpon that truly make this place so special, nice as the tarpon is considered by many to be the greatest sport fish on the planet. Hit him! Good job, buddy. Dang, man. Oh, oh, what a jump. I got it, got it? Yeah, great. That's freaking awesome. Redemption, baby! Woo! Redemption! Ah! What a jump. No, 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 That's a fish there, bro. <clears throat> this week, the best tarpon fly anglers, paired with the area's top guides, will continue their quest in the 2014 tournament season. The first of which is the Loop Golden Fly. The 2012 Gold Cup Grand Champion angler, Steve Ward, serves as this year's tournament director. The coolest thing about tarpon fishing is that, number one, it's a big fish in shallow water. Second coolest thing about tarpon fishing is that you can make that fish eat, okay? And so by reading the reaction of the fish, by watching the body movements of that fish, you can manipulate the fly with your hand, such as to create or, or, or to entice that fish to eat. And when you do it and he eats, you get to watch the whole thing. And it's just, it's just the coolest thing ever. I try not to tell anybody about it because I don't want anyone else doing it, but it's awesome. It's the best. It's a hunt. Holy it's cow, the pursuit. The and go. even when you're not pursuing tarpon, all you're doing is thinking about it. So this is a magical time. It's, it rocks the house right now. It's my favorite part of the year. 
the way it goes, I guess. Hook popped out. We got the release though, so. 80 yards, right where you're pointing. That color in the water there? Yeah. See that one roll? Yeah. They win. Go ahead. Back in there. Maybe that one. He's tripping. Yeah, he's on it. Hit him! Jab him or something. Get him to go. Silver Kings is presented in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Sea Deck Marine Products, your boat deserves Sea Deck. By Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. And by Deep Eddy Vodka, dive in. Don't forget to call neutral for me. Yeah. It's a fat part of the line coming there. Yeah. Heavy line coming. Okay, let's sneak up on him. I saw a leader there. Neutral. You got I it. I don't know. No, you got it. I saw it. I did? Okay, good. Good job. Looked like a decent fish when he ate. I'm gonna give it a couple more clicks. Nice fish. With the herd. Huh? I think he's with the bunch, you know? Was that him that rolled or another fish? That was him that rolled. Oh, I thought it was another fish. He looks like he had a wide back. Yeah, he looked big when he when he ate. I think that's the weight. No, he's with no, the No, he's herd. with other fish. Yeah. Hey, look. God dang it. Are you kidding me? God dang it. Come back, let's go back in there real quick. Believable. Huh? A hundred pounder. Yeah. These conditions where it only takes one or two weights keeps everybody in the game. So um, it, it makes those misses more costly. Oh, look at this nice big string we're finally gonna get. Okay. Six o'clock. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. Finally. Let's just see where they go. They're all swimming wide of us. I think you're gonna have to pull, uh, pull me off, pull me off of this thing. You see them all? Yes, I do. Hold on. Yeah. 
still see them? Yeah. Look to your left. Look to I your see left. Them. There's way more. Okay. okay. Point your rod. Point your rod. To your left. To your left. Okay. Right there. See them? Yeah. Try. Oh. Jesus. Go again. Go again. Left. Left. Keep it coming. This is a mess is what this is. This is a mess. Oh, man. Silver Kings is presented in part by Sea Deck Marine Products. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. Smith Optics. See the world differently with chroma pop lenses. Able Reels. Crafted for chaos. And by Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. You know, nowadays, when a DJ shows up to a party, he brings a Mac and he clicks his mouse. But this is how they used to do it. Paul is just an unbelievably generous guy. He's um, quirky, just like the rest of us. Wild sense of humor, which is awesome for me because I'm, I'm right there with him. Very childish sense of humor, you know? the. The lower you can get, the better. And that, that's why we have so much fun, because we'll just take it to a different level. Tootsie, can you play some music? Music, Tootsie. Music, Tootsie. Sometimes she's a better musician than others. Music, Tootsie. Music. <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid, I've always been a collector of things. It's a narwhal tusk. You end up with a lot of cool stuff. Billy Pate, the famous angler Billy Pate had this gaff custom made in Australia. Collecting things is kind of a perverse thing. This is a really good one here. It's very anticlimactic. You know, you fixate on something that you want. Orchids are, uh, orchids are not a hobby, they're a sickness and you kind of make it almost into this like ultimate thing, you know, like it's a, like a transcendent thing. And then you finally get it, and once it's in your hand, it's so unsatisfying that all you can do is immediately fixate on the next thing. And that's how collecting things goes. <laughs> Paul is, is very eccentric. His collection of fly fishing reels, of orchids, um, his pets, pig, a one-eyed cat, and a tortoise. I mean, he is just uh, an amazing individual, great character. I have to tell you that I've met a lot of people uh, in this world and you don't always have very close friendships with, with everybody that you fish with or everybody that you meet. But Paul, he is either full throttle or in park. You know, he's either going at it, redlining it, or he's just sitting in the driveway and having, hasn't even turned the engine on yet. So for him, in these tournaments, as much fun as he's having, he wants to go full throttle. He wants to win these things too. He wants every shot to count. And I know that. And when we get into little, you know, heated arguments or, or exchanging words with each other, you know, he knows that, yeah, Bo, Bo should realize that I really want to win this and I want to catch these fish just as bad as he does. But sometimes it's tough to, to put yourself in that situation to step back, push the pause button, sit down on the couch and look at it for a little while. You don't have that. It's like tensions are running high. You're just, you want to get these fish. The hours are running out. And so that is is the fun of fishing these tournaments, the fun of fishing with Paul, having him on my boat. North Founder Paul. What, what are you doing? What? I thought you just said 
What? Oh my God, I'm sorry, I thought you said turn me loose. I said here comes a northbounder. Okay, I, well, I didn't hear you cry. It's Jeez. really one right here, man, right on the tip of this piling. To the little, okay, let it sit, let it sit. Strip, 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 hold on. Tick, 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 hold on. Tick, 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 tick. Sorry, I, I misunderstood. What the f you think I would do that if I didn't no, think I was dude, supposed to? No, dude, but I'm to? just like, it's like a amazing I, to me. I know, but you know, I say here comes a north. Yeah, well, I didn't understand. Do, just, just ask yourself this. Do you think I would have done that if I didn't think I was supposed to? I know, to? but it doesn't change anything. Sure it does. I just, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm trying to up. I just misunderstood. I know. It's just amazing how well, you misunderstand. Yeah, it's really hard to hear. In the Howling wind and I have my just, mask down right, well, and I said I didn't it understand facing. you. I didn't understand you. That's why I did I did what I thought I was supposed to do. That's what I'm always gonna do. Well, what I think the, I'm supposed well, to hook do. Hook the anchor up. That's what you're time. supposed to do right now. Okay. You understand that? You gotta think that when I do something, I'm doing it because I think it's what I'm supposed to be doing at the time. But it's just it's costly. Yeah, well. That's I'm why sorry. it's frustrating. Turn me loose just sounds nothing like we have a northbounder. There's no correlation. Oh. I mean, you think I just walked up there and I was just like, oh, I'll just let the boat off just for Well, I just don't understand what your idea is when I'm looking right here and I say, and I tell you when we pull up to the spot, it's a downwind shot that they're going to come right around the dock. And then I tell you, we have a northbounder, but you're sitting there on no, your phone. You don't hear me. You don't hear what I'm saying, but there's no correlation. The mask is down. I'm facing you just like you requested all the things you requested. Well, you know, and then next thing you know, I'm drifting into the fish when all you had to do was have it, you know, the shot was right there. But that's okay, you've never even fished this spot before. So how do you know? But bottom line is, is that unless these fish are swimming out wide of us, there's never gonna be a turn me loose situation here. All right, well. Because they're always going to swim this line just like that fish did. They're going to see that there's something impeding their, their movement, and then they're going to come right to you. I mean, right here. The only thing that I was going to do was this. I was just going to give you a little bit of a turn, and it was going to be a shot right there. Got it. That's it. Did you see the fish? I did. Yeah. It was down on the bottom. No. Well, not a, then midway down. Yeah, maybe after the boat floated into him, yeah. But when I saw him, he was probably about a foot under the surface at the most. Silver Kings is presented in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Florida Keys Outfitters, your go-to source for saltwater fly fishing success. By Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear. And by Deep Eddy Ruby Red Vodka, dive in. The 2014 Loop Golden Fly has been filled with struggle and disappointment, and day three is no different. Strong winds continue to blow, and it made for tough fishing. Part of the addiction of this game is the level of difficulty. It can humble the most accomplished guide and angler. 
He's off. Even when things line up and you get the bite, he's off. Sometimes the fish just doesn't stay on the hook. That's how it's been, dude. <laughs> That's our tournament right there. These guys call First it getting blanked. That's it. It's a reality for any tarpon angler. Eventually, Lady Luck lands on the shoulders of a few who are able to put it all together. The grand champions of the 2014 Loop Golden Fly are angler Roger Fernandez and guide Tad Burke. Their success is celebrated by the entire field of competitors, each respecting what it takes to hold the trophy. At the end of it all, Tarpon season is about getting together with friends who share a passion and appreciation for this magnificent species. You brush it off, you say I did the best job I can do. You realize that there's three more tournaments coming up. You got the Holly, you got the Ladies, and you've got the Gold Cup. And those are gonna be different tournaments. Fingers crossed that it's gonna be different weather. Um, you know, and you're gonna go out there and the beauty of that is you just brush this off. It's like the golden fly didn't even happen. I'm going out there, I'm ready to fish the next tournament. I don't even care about the golden fly. So that's what it's all about. You just move on to day one of the holly and then I'll be worrying about day one of the ladies and day one of the gold cup when those happen. You know, worry about today, today. Tomorrow will, you know, worry about itself. So that's it. To see and learn more and to watch full-length episodes, log on to SilverKingsTV.com.